This video is on binomial theorem for positive integers. Let x and y be any real numbers such that x plus y is not equal to 0. Then the binomial x plus y raised to power n is equal to a0 x to power n plus a1 x to power n minus 1 times y plus a2 x to power n minus 2 y squared up to a n minus 1 x times y raised to power n minus 1 plus a raised a n y raised to power n. So this can be equally written as n combination 0 x to power n plus n combination 1 x to power n minus 1 multiplied by y plus n combination 2 x to power n minus 2 y raised to power 2 plus n combination n minus 1 x y raised to power n minus 1 plus n combination n y raised to power n so this can be written in a shortened form as Using the uh, uh, summation sign, we write it as summation r goes from 0 to n of n combination r x to power n y to power r. In other words, the binomial theorem for positive integers uses combination to provide the coefficients of the expansion without going through the development of the Pascal's triangle. Now let's take a few examples uh, that will illustrate the binomial theorem for positive integers. expand the following using binomial theorem for positive integers. The first one is x plus 2 raised to power 5, while the second one is 3 minus 2y raised to power 4. Now let's do the expansion. For the first one, x plus 2 raised to the power 5, n is equal to 5, and y is equal to 2. So we have x plus 2 raised to the power 5 is equal to 
5 combination 0 x to the power 5 plus 5 combination 1 x to the power 4 multiplied by y which is 2 plus 5 combination 2 x to the power 3 multiplied by 2 squared plus 5 combination 3 x to the power 2 multiplied by 2 to the third power plus 5 combination 4 multiplied by x multiplied by 2 to the power 4 plus the last term 5 combination 5 2 to the power 5 now let's take note that let's note that 5 combination 0 is equal to 1 5 combination 1 is equal to 5 5 combination 4 is equal to 5 and 5 combination 5 is equal to 1 please uh, check the video on combination in the description of this video the link is there you can look at uh, that video on combination so that it will be easier for you to understand how these results were obtained. We are left with only 5 combination 2 and 5 combination 3. So we have to find 5 combination 2, which is uh, the same as 5 combination 3. So 5 combination 2 is equal to 5 factorial over... 5 minus 2 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial. And this is also equal to 5 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So this gives us 5 times 4 times 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2. So we can cancel here. We cancel and then we are left with 5 and 2 which is equal to 10. So 5 combination 2 gives us 10. And also 5 combination 3 is equal to 10. So you can, uh, you can verify this. Just check it to confirm. Okay, now we can go back to the expansion of our binomial. x plus 2 raised to power 5 is equal to x to power 5 plus 5 times 2 x to power 4 plus 10 into 4 times x to the power 3 plus 10 into 8 x squared plus 5 into 16 times x plus 1 times 32. So if we multiply out we will have x plus 2 raised to the power 5 is equal to x to the power 5 plus 10x to the power 4 plus 10 by 4 gives 40. So we have 40x to the power 3 plus here we have 80x squared plus this is also 80 
So on this side we have 80x plus the last term 1 by 32 is 32. So this is the expansion of the binomial x plus 2 raised to power 5. Now we will go to the second expansion which is the expansion of 3 minus 2y raised to power 4. So in this case, x is equivalent to 3 and y is equivalent to minus 2y. So the expansion is 3 minus 2y raised to the power 4 is equal to 4 combination 0, 3 raised to the power 4, 3 is the value for x, plus 4 combination 1, 3 raised to the power 3, times y, y is minus 2y, plus 4 combination 2, multiplied by 3 squared, multiplied by minus 2y squared, plus 4 combination 3, multiplied by 3 raised to the power 1, multiplied by minus 2y raised to the power 3, plus the last term, 4 combination 4, times minus 2y raised to the power 4. Here, here, 4 combination 0 is equal to 1. 4 combination 1 is equal to 4. 4 combination 2 is equal to 6. 4 combination 3 is equal to 4. And 4 combination 4 is equal to 1. So if we substitute, we will have 3 minus 2y raised to the power 4 is equal to 1, that's 4 combination 0, 1 from here, we have 4 combination 0, multiplied by 3 raised to the power 4, 3 raised to the power 4 is 81, 1 times 81 plus here we have 4 combination 1 which is 4, 4 times 3 raised to the power 3 is 27 multiplied by minus 2y plus 4 combination 2 is 6, so we have 6 here, multiplied by 9 multiplied by this value is 4y squared 4y squared plus the next term we have 4 combination 3 which is 4 4 times 3 times minus 2y raised to power 3 will give minus 8y cubed plus the last term is 4 combination 4 which is 1 multiplied by minus 2y to power 4 so we have 1 times minus 2 to power 4 is 16 and multiplied by y to power 4 
so if we multiply out we will have 81 that's the first term here we have um, 4 times minus 2 is minus 8 minus 8 times 27 is minus 216 times y is minus 216y then here 9 times 6 is 54 54 times 4y squared gives 216y squared plus here we have 4 times 3 is 12 times minus 8y cubed minus 8y cubed that will give us minus 96y cubed plus the last term is 16y to power 4 so we can rewrite this as this can be written as 16y to power 4 minus 96y to power 3 plus 216y squared minus 216y plus 81. So that's the result of expanding 3 minus 2y raised to power 4. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to click the like button and also share the video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Thank you once again.